So lately I've been getting a lot of questions and messages in regards to this brand new brand that just made its way into the industry. Of course, this is called Viva More Parfum. I'm gonna be doing a house overview. I'm also gonna give you a very special code that you can use for the next few weeks. I'm excited to tell you all about this brand, what I know about it, and what I think you should know about it as well. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you kind of a house overview of this brand new brand called Viva More Parfum, I'll explain everything, the relationship to Navitus Parfum, so on and so forth. I wanna start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and also click where it says enable all notifications and give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in participating in the giveaway. And generally speaking, if you like this type of content, it would really, really mean a lot to me. So the brand was generous enough to offer two discovery sets to one lucky winner. If you would like to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is just leave a comment down below with your general location. Don't tell me exactly where you live. I don't need a specific address or anything. Just leave a comment down below and let me know if you're from the States, what state are you from? If you're from outside of the United States, what country are you from? And I will be picking the winning comment in one week's time. And I'm gonna pin the winning comment to the top of the comment thread. So definitely make sure to check back on over to this video in one week's time to see if you are the lucky winner. And also when I do reply to your comment, make sure it's from my verified account, which has a little check mark next to it because I have over 100,000 subscribers. There have been a lot of scams going around lately, people impersonating others, and it has disproportionately affected the fragrance community, unfortunately. So please be cautious, a lot of scams. I'll never ask you to contact me on Telegram or WhatsApp or basically any other platform except for my official email account. But with that being said, Let's go ahead and start the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one do you think is going to be your favorite based off of the note breakdown or the way that I described it. Oh, and by the way, if you would like to make a purchase, even a discovery set, which is very, very, very affordable, affordably priced, pardon me, uh, you can definitely use the code STEVEN20. That will give you 20% off uh, bottle purchase, discovery set, anything. If you use the code STEVEN20, you will get 20% off your order. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive into the video. It's a house overview. This is Viva More Parfum. So back in 2018, I started working on Navitus Parfum in the capacity of being the founding creative director. By October, November of 2019, the brand was launched with seven fragrances that I proudly created creatively directed. Now the brand has over 30 fragrances and we've had partnerships with many incredible people, Monica Choch, Big Beard Business, Bowtie Fragrance Guy, uh, Paulina Shar, so on and so forth. Now there is a sister brand to Navitus Parfum. This is not creatively directed by any YouTuber. Basically the CEO is the creative director here. And of course there is a pretty large team that has worked on all of these fragrances. I've had nothing to do with any of these fragrances. I did not write the briefs. I did not work on the aromas. I did not have any communication with the perfumers in regards to these fragrances. Uh, so I'm kind of like an outsider here and I'm really happy about that. I'm enjoying that because I get to smell somebody else's work and passion and what they've come up with. So these are really exciting releases. There's actually 11 of them in total. So if you're a little apprehensive about, am I gonna like it, am I not gonna like it? Definitely a discovery set would be the best option for you, especially utilizing the code. And hopefully you are one of the two lucky winners to whom I'm going to respond after that week is over if you end up winning. So basically, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Uh, the two fragrances that I don't have bottles of in front of me, there's only so much that I can fit on this table. Uh, they're both composed by Jorge Lee, and I'll show you the discovery set and what it looks like. It does have a sleeve, I took the sleeve off. Magnetic flap, individually boxed, um, with a beautiful atomizer, crimped on and everything. This is, I mean, really, really wonderfully done. So the two 
songs that I don't have in front of me here are Aura Celeste and Addiction Absolute. Uh, both of these fragrances are composed by Jorge Lee, who has done many fragrances for Unique Luxury, Algabra, if I'm remembering correctly, and also Nishane, right? So a couple of um, Turkish companies. He's done Hachavat, among many, many other fragrances. He's so incredibly talented. I've had the pleasure of working with him as well on a few different fragrances, including Arcanum and also Primas by Navitus Parfum. I visited Istanbul. He's such an amazing guy. So anyway, Addiction Absolute, I'm not going to go through all of the notes, but I'm going to tell you the ones that really stand out as far as my nose is concerned. You do have Jamaican rum, dried fruits, you have Caledonian sandalwood, ambergris resins, Madagascan vanilla, and some other spices in the heart like cognac. You have nutmeg. And cognac is a boozy ingredient that does kind of join the rum that you'll find in the opening. But both of these boozy ingredients do give off a bit of a spice. And so Addiction Absolute is a wonderfully addictive fragrance. A little bit on the sweeter side, but definitely dark. There's a lot of spices, it's very dark, it's very boozy. The sweetness is coming from that dried fruit accord. So what I would say about this one is if you're a fan of Frappon's 1270, that sort of cognac dried fruit thing, but you're looking for something that is darker and much longer lasting, you gotta check out Addiction Absolute. And the other one that I don't have here in front of me is actually Aura Celeste. And obviously in true Viva More Parfum fashion, it does include one of these cards, which basically gives you the breakdown, the presentation, the notes, the perfumer of every single fragrance that the brand has to offer. So basically Aura Celeste, also composed by Jorge Lee. This one has lemon, bergamot, rosewood, jasmine, black pepper, grapefruit, cardamom, Incense, Amber, Madagascan Vanilla, and Tibetan Musk. This one is basically a cardamom and vanilla combination. So if you like La Nuit de Lum, this one doesn't smell anything like it, but if you like that type of a vibe where it's kind of sweet, kind of musky, kind of spicy, but very professional smelling, definitely try Aura Celeste. This one is an awesome fragrance. Definitely work appropriate. It has that professional demeanor about it. And I think it's just very easy to wear, very easy going. And with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the bottles that I have here in front of me. I'm gonna do them one by one, starting from the front row and I'll make my way to the back. So the first one I wanna talk about is Ultimate Aphrodisiac. This is a gourmand fragrance. And when gourmand fragrances are talked about, there's usually one perfumer that does it so expertly, and her name is Sidonie Lancaster. She's worked on this fragrance, and this has oof, chocolate, coffee, um, a little bit of like a sesame vibe in here as well. It's very sweet, very gourmand, and the opening blast is one of the most heavenly gourmand aromas I've ever gotten my nose on. If you are a fan of sweet fragrances, this is the sweetest fragrance that the brand has to offer, period. If you're a fan of gourmands, you have to go with Ultimate Aphrodisiac. Sidonie Lancaster did an amazing, amazing job at it. The second fragrance here is Urbane. Now, Urbane, <laughs> basically the freshies from this brand were composed by Chris Maurice, who has done tons of fragrances for Zerzhoff and many, many other brands. Urbane, oh, it's so bright and fresh and musky. You kind of have this ambroxan thing. You have a little bit of citrus in the opening, a little grapefruit perhaps. This is for fans of Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim. If you like Afternoon Swim, I think this would be a perfect pick for you. If you like Bulgari Tiger, I think you'd end up really enjoying this one as well. And if I can just take a look at this card, it does indeed have grapefruit, lemon, bergamot. It has a gin accord, gin and lavender. So there's a little bit of that aromatic, spicy heart happening in here. And again, so easy to wear and absolutely refreshing. Here we have Creme Exquis. That is the next one from this brand. If you are looking for a gourmand iris composed by Bertrand du Chaffour, this is next level goodness, in my opinion. It is amazing. If you're a fan of Dior Homme Intense, for example, 
you have to try this one. It doesn't have that ambrette musk mallow pear thing that Dior Homme Intense has. It's done very differently. It has coffee, it has vanilla, it has chocolate. So it's a gourmand, not as gourmand as the first fragrance that we spoke about here, but it definitely has that iris that gives you that starchy sort of a lipsticky quality. And yes, this is one of those iris fragrances that does have a lipstick quality in case you were wondering. We also have Rouge Imperial. We are going back to Chris Maurice, I believe, with this one. Okay, so this one is actually on the darker side of things. This was the fourth one. Yeah, so this is Rose and Saffron. If you want a spicy rose with a little bit of um, this floral tendency, it's very mysterious, very exotic smelling. This will definitely appeal to a clientele that likes some of the darker, heavier offerings that many perfume brands are offering. It just smells very natural, very exotic, a touch of spice. The saffron almost gives it like this exotic leathery vibe too. It is beautifully done, perfect for the colder weather. We also have a fragrance called Akoya. Now Akoya, right next to Urbane, is probably the freshest fragrance that the brand has to offer. We are at number five here. Oh, it's just so bright, so zingy, so refreshing. You do have this tart effervescent quality in the opening and this one composed by Christian Carbonell. Uh, this one has Italian lemon, grapefruit, pink pepper, ginger, sandback jasmine from India, incense and amber. This fragrance is definitely smooth, bright, citrusy. This is the fragrance where you're running errands, you're going to the gym, you're going on a date, but you don't wanna wear something a little bit too daring. You just wanna smell good. You wanna smell well-groomed. This is like, you take the best designer fragrance that gets all the compliments and then you multiply its potential by five. This is what happens with that. I wore this on a number of occasions. It got me a bunch of compliments. I went to an event recently. A lot of people were asking me what, what I was wearing, not Scent Explore. I actually wore Tobacco Supreme for Scent Explore, but Akoya did really, really well for me. People were very curious, very interested in finding out what I was wearing. It's just a very refreshing fragrance. So I will be referring back to this card for the last four. Although a lot of them I do know, like Dark Indulgence, this one was composed by Bertrand du Chafour. This one has orange and chocolate. Beautifully delicious, warm, decadent, gourmand, yet also like tart fragrance with a bit of like a whiskey note in here. So it's a little boozy, but it definitely has that citrusy gourmand warmth about it. If you're a fan of fragrances like Symphonium by Zerzhov, although this one is very, very, very different. Symphonium is actually a lot sweeter and this has some darker, spicier elements to it, but it's for that type of a fan, right? So I'm giving you these frames of reference. If you really have no idea what to expect, it can kind of give you like a 50% understanding of what to expect, but Dark Indulgence is a sweet yet spicy offering from the brand. We have Cherry Privé. And I really love the color of this bottle. It reminds me of one that I worked on, which is called Opulentas. And this one, Cherry Privé, there's cherry, there's almond, there's actually rose in here. So if you're looking for what is perhaps the most sensual release from this brand, you wanna smell sexy, seductive, sensual on the flirtatious side of things, Cherry Privé is an amazing fragrance to satisfy that that feeling or that sensation, if you will. We also have Tobacco Supreme. This is an amazing tobacco-based fragrance. It's a little on the spicy side too. Let me go ahead and remind myself what those exact dark elements are. So composed by Chris Maurice or Christian Carbonell, which is his real name. You do have tobacco, Bulgarian rose, lavender, nutmeg. So that's the spice we're talking about. Clary Sage, Amber, Cedar, Benzo and Tonka Bean, Myrrh, Vanilla, and 
guayac wood. It's definitely on the darker side of things. It's not a sweet tobacco like tobacco vanille, which has that spicy vanilla to it. And it's not a very dry tobacco like Creed's Tabarome. It's right in the middle, but it's a beautifully expressed note of tobacco. Very impressed with this one. Perfect for the colder weather, incredibly long lasting, eight plus hours every time I wear it. And I've had all of these now for about three weeks, I wanna say. They've been in my possession for about three weeks. So I've gotten, I've been fortunate to have had the opportunity to spend a nice bit of time with all of them. And the last one is Reserve Exclusif. This one is composed by Francis Kirk John and Jerome de Marino, and it is one of the most interesting note breakdowns that I've seen in a long, long time. It has a gingerbread accord, it has toasted coconut, and it has whiskey. Let me just smell it again. It's so creamy, it's warm, there's a touch of spice, there's a dark undercurrent to it. The coconut is very like, kind of lighthearted, but definitely mysterious at the same time. You know, you think coconut, you think of summery, bright, upbeat, fun. But when it's paired with all of these other dark ingredients, it changes the personality of the coconut in such a wonderful, wonderful manner. Here are 11 amazing fragrances. Definitely some of the more unique fragrances I've tried in a long, long time. There's something for everyone. If you like some of the darker, mature, mysterious fragrances, Tobacco Supreme is for you. If you want the freshest compliment getter, Akoya is for you. If you want to smell absolutely irresistible, you love Gourmand's Ultimate Aphrodisiac is for you. If you want to smell sexy, sensual, flirtatious, Cherry Privé is your choice. Urbane is a great one if you're a fan of La Nuit de L'Homme. There's some wonderful, wonderful fragrances here. All of them are incredibly unique and original DNAs. None of them smell reductive or reminiscent of other fragrances. Here you have 11 wonderful fragrances and don't take my word for it. Get a discovery set for yourself. That is the most inexpensive option. Try them for yourself. I have no involvement in this brand whatsoever. I do not have any equity in this brand like I do with Navitus Parfum. I did not creatively direct anything from this brand. This is a sister company of Navitus Parfum, which means that it's owned by the same parent company. But with that being said, I love these fragrances. Now, if you had to ask me what my favorites are, Akoya is the signature scent. This is the fresh, compliment getter, smooth, grapefruit, musky, aromatic, professional, youthful. I mean, tons of compliments coming your way. I personally love my gourmand fragrances. If you've been watching my channel, you know I have a sweet nose, uh, so to speak. Ultimate Aphrodisiac is definitely one of my favorites, but I've also been really, really enjoying uh, Tobacco Supreme. Tobacco Supreme is just a great one for the really cold weather that we've been getting up here in New Jersey. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video clarified a lot of the questions that you might have had. I hope that I was able to do some justice in this very short video. Probably went on a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I'm talking about 11 fragrances, so I can't consolidate that to like eight or nine minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one of these sounds like it would be your favorite. And also let me know your general location. If you're from the States, what state are you from? If you're from outside of the States, what country are you from? I'm gonna be picking the winning comment in one week's time. It's a worldwide giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.